What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ Today we back in the confessional, back with another lit video And yeah, we stay on some BS Shout out to my everyday people man And shout out to the whole Lucky Nation Shout out to everybody on Facebook and YouTube If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe Facebook, go ahead and follow man Let's get into this video, I ain't gonna hold you What does a submissive woman do for her man? Everything What does that mean? You know, like packing his bag, unpacking his bag, um, just making sure all the things that he wants. And I, I pretty much read his mind. So it's like, if I know you and I study you, like I know how you are in the morning. I know how you are about midday. I know when you're in this mood, what you need. Like before you can ever ask me for something, I'm already on it. I mean, he's spoiled. And you know, when I talk to my girlfriends about it, they're always like, oh, how are you guys doing? And I'm just like, girl, he's rotten. I'm like, he's spoiled rotten. Like, he's rotten. But I love that. Like, I want him to be there. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. But my love is my superpower. And I used to hate that about myself. But now it's like, I'm just embracing it. Like, that's who I am. Like, if I love you, I can heal you. It's I your joy. It is my joy. You know, I, I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but it that's is. like, I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest, you know? So know what that means. And, and that works for us because he wants what I have to offer interesting interesting okay to say the least um shout out to her shout out to her husband or boyfriend no <laughs> this chick ain't married her boyfriend you know what i'm saying and it's kind of crazy that she's not married because any woman that's doing all that for me my first goal is marriage so i'm wondering what's what's in the making what's shaking so you know, she didn't say anything about that. Like, this is this is what I get. I don't know if we're going to talk about marriage or anything, but let's just say hypothetically. Let's say, is she looking to marry this dude? Because she's giving him all, everything. This is everything that a woman should do for her husband, okay? And um, not should I don't say whatever you want to do, do what the fuck you want to do. But if you gonna marry a, a man, uh, take notes from her, okay, and uh, be submissive. But she doing everything that a wife should do, and if she's not married, sister, that shit ain't working for you. So stop it. Stop giving these niggas all of that. Stop making dudes be yo. You know what I'm saying? Really, first of all, actually, don't stop it. Because there is some dudes out there who need people like you. Like, there is somebody for everybody. And there is a guy out there that's so needy that he needs somebody like her. Look, I don't want you to be that needy. First of all, bitch, back the fuck up off of me. Don't you see I just sat down? Like, that's what I'm talking about. I don't need that needy. I mean, it could be a little clingy. Be clingy. But when you come and you... I hop out of bed, you making my side of the bed. I go brush my teeth, you put the toothpaste on the toothbrush for me. I go to wipe my ass, you already back there with the tissue. Like, that is too much. That's where we gotta draw the line. Like, there's a few things you could do for me as a woman, uh, but there are some things you just need to leave alone. Like, if you wanna scratch my back, first of all, I'm not that touchy feely. I'm ticklish and I, I hate that shit. Like, Ticklish to the point where touching, I don't like touching. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate I hate being touched. But uh, the, the fact of the matter is, it's only a few people that I even let get close to me like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I let you get close to me, just respect the space and understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand you want what you want, but you got to give a brother respect. But now, if there is a brother that is so needy, that he has to get rocked to sleep by his woman. Let me tell you what, dog. That that might be a healthy relationship for y'all. That might be a healthy relationship for y'all. But I'm going to just tell you what. Any man like that, you better not get out of line with a chick like this. 
if you do that and you get out of line with her, she'll cut you off. She the type of chick that'll be like, oh, I, I go do this for any man. You know what I mean? Type shit. Like, you get everything. I, I do this for you. I do this for you. Some, some of the, she said she does some of the stuff without him even asking. So that just lets you know she's controlling. It, <laughs> she, she ain't pampering this nigga. She controlling this nigga. That's what that is. That's controlling. I don't know what she's talking about, but you know, maybe it is pampering. I've never had that type of situation happen for me. And um, but I let me tell you, let me tell you. I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep it real. I've dated, I've dated, I've dated, I've dated. Okay. I've dated different types of women, all different types. And I know for a fact my main goal is never find the same chick twice. Okay? Never find the same chick talk twice, okay? And the reason is, is because it was something about that last one that made me say, no, nah, I can't do that no more. But there are things sometimes you can overlook shit. Like if something irritated you from that a girl from like five chicks ago and then this chick now does the same thing, but she does other stuff better, so then you kind of like, well, it ain't her, so maybe I, I can, I knew how to deal with it before, so I'll deal with it better this time. That's how that shit happened. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Look, but I do not want to, I don't, I do not want to send all my brothers up, up the river trying to find a woman like this because this bitch will ruin your life at the drop of a dime, okay? If anything, if anything goes on that she don't like, she will she will fucking slash your tires, so you don't go nowhere. Remember, she folds his clothes, puts his clothes away. She will hide all your drawers, drawers, so you can't leave the house. No, she'll bury them in the yard, so you can't leave the house. This is the type of chick you don't want to eat her spaghetti, big dog. Look at that long, beautiful, flowing hair. That beautiful brown skin. That chick is Haitian. Back the fuck up and leave immediately. Everyday people, man, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.